everybody, it's Becky. I just want to share this little card that I made this afternoon. I have a friend whose mom passed away recently, and so I wanted to make a card for her. And um, I wanted to share about this die set that I use for this because it is so cool. This is a layering die from Altenew. And you've probably seen the layering stamp sets, but I had never seen layering dies until Scrap Diva 29 showed these the other day on her channel and she shared where she had gotten them from. And so I wanted to share that with you in case you haven't seen that. And they come with this magazine that comes from the UK. Um, this one is the Simply Cards and Papercraft. There's a bunch of different ones. Some of them are for stamping. Some of them are um, strictly for cards. Some of them are for dies. So they each have their own little kind of thing. This one is $14.99, so they're a little bit expensive. But you do get the free gift with them. And let me show you what came up this month. This is, um, again, from Altenew. It's called the Layered Rose. And there's three dies for the flower and two for the leaves. And the, it shows, you know, it tells you what to do. Very easy. You use a light color for the first layer, your darkest color for the second layer, and a medium color for the third layer. And you just put those together in that order. And the same thing with the, the leaves. So it's very easy to do. I used my Xyron sticker maker to um, make stickers out of each of the, the layers that go on top. Um, some of these are, get really tiny um, around the edges and so they're pretty delicate and I thought how are you going to you know, get glue and that doesn't come out all over the place. And So I decided to use the sticker maker and that was a really good choice. That worked out really well. Um, the magazine itself I picked this one up from Barnes & Noble. Joann's also carries them, but they were already sold out. So um, Barnes & Noble had a whole bunch of them left, though. So if you do want to try and find this one, I would suggest looking there first because your chances, I think, are better. Um, the magazines have lots of stuff if you've never seen these. Lots of ideas for cards and other kinds of projects and they also always put in a lot of stuff on using the free gift let me just find this one page here so this um, layout here shows you you know a bunch of ideas for using this particular die set and here they've done a wreath with different colored ones and and then um, one of the other things that comes free with the magazine is a digital download and I noticed that when I was looking at the items needed to make this particular card, and I noticed it didn't mention this background paper. It didn't mention the colored paper for the rose or the leaves. And I realized that those must come in the digital download that you can actually print those papers off and then use them. So that's kind of cool too. There's even more that comes free with the magazine. But there are just um, lots and lots of ideas on how to use your free gift as well as lots of other projects too. And they have lots of really fun looking free giveaways, but unfortunately those are limited to people in the UK, so we can't participate in that if you're here in the States like I am. But um, the, there's a lot of really good content in these and a lot of inspiration. So. If uh, you're kind of stuck for an idea, these are a good place to go to, you know, look for something fast that uses the free gift that came with them. And then um, the sympathy sentiment, I used uh, the one that came with one of those um, little stamp sets I showed you the other day that came from Joann's from the um, Miss Sparkle and Company that were $1.99. And then I just heat embossed it. And then the um, background paper here came out of this garden party paper pad from, I picked up at Tuesday morning last month. So um, that's it for that um, project. And I hope if you like this, you'll run out and see if you can find one of those magazines too, because they are kind of fun if you can swing that. I know it's a little expensive, but I think you can get a lot of uses out of this particular set. I've gotten kind of picky about which ones of these I pick up now. And I had actually put myself on timeout because I had a, 
a few of them that I hadn't done anything with and so I thought no I'm not getting any more until I use these but when Erica showed this on her channel the other day I said okay I'm taking myself out of time out for this one because I think this is just a really unique die set so anyway I just want to share that with you and I'll talk to you later bye